got it to work. Guys, Ryan bit off here. Look at that. Got lamps in the background. My computer is acting very buggy ever since I did the Windows upgrade. So, since it's acting very buggy, it can get wacky. I couldn't do a live hangout. I gotta find out a little hourglass going with the mouse pointer, and I have no clue what in the hell it means. Feeling it has something to do with some firewall, something I may have enacted security-wise that muck things up. But anyway, you're not here to learn about Ryan's computer issues. You want the three fundamentals of successful blogging, and three of 11 biggies. You know what's coming up at the end. A nice goading to listen to my 11 successful, 11 fundamentals of successful blogging audio course. But before we dive into that, I want to go over the three fundamentals. Now guys, these are going to be really different than most of the blogging tips you ever receive in your life. I shouldn't say most of them. One won't be. One will be kind of along the lines. But in a lot of ways, the first two are going to be very difficult to grasp at first in most cases. And that's okay. Because uncomfortable moments lead to stunning beautiful freeing fun magical lives so what i'd ask you is you dive into these beautiful little or big whatever you want to call it video intended to be a google hangout but that's okay that's how we roll with things just think about this take a deep breath and relax Hey, that's fundamental number one, <laughs> but it is fundamental number one, but I want you to picture yourself living in Fiji, Savu Savu Fiji for four months. Imagine the beautiful bay, crystal clear waters, blue, turquoise blue, deep blue sea. I mean, just the play of colors there was just absolutely jaw dropping. I lived there for four months in 2014 along with Kelly Cooper, my wife. Not at the time, though. It was never on the rocks. But anyway. Oh, by the way, this is Crest. I swear. I, I, it works so much better than hair gel, and I've explained that in prior videos. But Crest isn't quite as up to snuff as some of the more natural toothpaste we use. That's what I use, Billy Ives. So I'll hold my hair. So that's my hair tip for the day. But take a deep breath and relax picture yourself living on the bay in fiji for four freaking months in a row not five four could have been five could have been seven if we stayed longer and all you're doing is blogging and enjoying paradise making friends creating value seeing one of the most beautiful pristine islands on the face of the earth like imagine that feeling how freeing it would be how fun it would be uh oh a couple other tips a couple of fundamentals hopping in there now imagine doing the same thing in Bali for six months, a six-month trip to Jimbaran. I mean, this is months on end. We've lived there for over a year. We lived in Thailand for over a year all together, collectively, during our world tour. Imagine living in Costa Rica for two and a half months and taking another two-month trip a couple years later. I mean, guys, just step into the feeling whether you are just rocking it out and just want to bring it up 10 notches and just live an absolutely freeing, charmed, stunning life through blogging. Or if you're really struggling and you can't even get your first 10 readers and you're thinking this seems so far away, honest to the gods. I don't want to be. What's the word? Catholic school nuns, the Carmelite nuns, I'm the knuckle now. No, I really did get that when I was a kid. I am that old. I'm blanking out whatever the word is. I don't want to use the Lord's name in vain. So thank, you know, the gods, you know, if you're really struggling and you're thinking it's so far away, you can live this life. And the fundamentals I'm sharing, like those first couple especially, which are going to have everything to do with blogging from the inside out, so then when you touch the practical tips, they're going to do magic for you, and the practical tips are going to come to you, and the people, ideas, and circumstances, and money, and all that stuff is going to flow into your being, into your inside, your meat suit, deeper, because we're just the spirit in a meat suit. When you get the inner game down, then you do stuff, or you can do stuff if you'd like to, like living in Bali for six months as a pro blogger. So you're just doing your pro blogging bit online, making connections, 
making friends, sharing value, may put out videos, creating products, ebooks, all this stuff comes together when you start off with fundamental number one. And again, I've lived this life, guys. I've blogged in paradise. If you're new to my blog, new to my brand, Ryan Biddle, blogging paradise guy, former broke bum ass security guard turned into an island hopping pro blogger. I've been featured on Richard Branson's Virgin blog, Forbes, NeilPatel.com multiple times. I cyber spoke about blogging from paradise at NYU, prestigious university in New York City. Hey. I'm no big deal, guys. These are just things that I've done to show you things that I've accomplished, and I've traveled the world for five years in a row, island hopping, spending more time in the tropics than malaria, changing time zones like most people change their clothes, at least people that, you know, cleanliness is close to godliness, so, you know, for all those folks who aren't changing them frequently. But godliness, lowercase g. But anyway, it's one of those things where if you – embody these inner tips i swear to god the magic happens so quickly you know it doesn't have to be years it doesn't have to be months you will let in the ideas pickles and circumstances peoples too not just pickles but people ideas and circumstances and the money all that good stuff to manifest your dream life and that's what we're all coming down to here we we want to blog we want to run a successful blog we want to build on rock solid fundamentals and you do it by getting your inner game down pat so number one fundamental successful blogging Breathe deeply and relax. Why? How does this help you? As a blogger, why would you build your blog on this type of fundamental? Shouldn't it be to drive blog traffic, create value, and do all other stuff? No, because most bloggers fail miserably. They have access to all these tips. They're beaten over the head with these tips. Successful bloggers tell them again and again, this is what you do, this is what you do, this is what you do. Doing is bullshit if you don't get your being down pat. That's why most people ignore this stuff. They're not present. They're not in the moment. They're not relaxed, so they're not receptive to it. You'll get those eureka moments like, why didn't I think of that before? Like rapid fire, like somebody shooting at you with a Kalashnikov. They'll come at to you that freaking quickly. And I know right now when you're looking at me, you're like, he doesn't seem that calm. Honest to God. I only had six cups of coffee. No, I haven't had anything today. I'm still doing the intermittent fasting bit. But I let this energy flow to and through me because I'm in the moment, because I'm relaxed, I'm taking deep breaths regularly throughout the day. What you'll find is all of your blogging power is in the moment. It's when you're present. And what do I mean by in the moment? When your mind's not racing ahead to the 500 other things you have to do today. Or when you're not worrying about the past, or when you're not freaking out, when you don't feel self-conscious because you have toothpaste in your hair. I don't. It looks good for me, I think. Pops Big Boy. Or Sonic. The Hedgehog. And the thing is, guys, your personality will come out. Your writing voice will magically erupt from your being. You'll just be you and you'll find successful things will happen for you so much more quickly. You'll move into the practical tips, which are a necessary part of the, the game, but you won't need to move into those tips. And you're going to find that blogging success will find you so much more quickly. And it's really two things to start with the presence of mind. Of course, meditating, and I'll get into that in the audio course that I'm going to, of course, ask you to listen to now, later, after later because it's really really fun and guys if you enjoy this you enjoy my personality on the video on the video on my google hangouts and on my when my google hangouts is being a real business to me a little jerky with these videos you'll enjoy the audio course immensely because it's just fun it's a really really innovative view take view approach to blogging where i'm just enjoying the hell out of myself having so much fun with it and not drilling the same points that you've heard so many times about blogging into your noggin. It's more of an entertainment. It, it's, it is entertainment. It's not, it's not the rote practical tips that you've heard so many times. And of course, I delve into those areas because those fundamentals are important. But it's this inner stuff, and it's really, really fun. So we'll get to that later. Oh, okay, let's pitch now. 11 Fundamentals of Successful Blogging. Find it on bloggingparadise.com, of course. I have it on my side. Nice picture. Buena Vista, Costa Rica. 
But this fun first fundamental, if I could say it correctly, helps you get present, helps you be in the moment. And when you're in the moment, all your power is there. And really, it's just the two steps. It's taking a few deep breaths. And relaxing your body and like I say in the audio course or I'm saying now when I go through my blogging day pardon me extemporaneous we do things really slowly at blogging paradise me my readers our community myself I'm doing things from a really slow calm space when you're coming from that slow calm space whether you're writing blog posts creating videos, creating podcasts, audio courses, ebooks, connecting with friends through blog commenting, sharing their content. You're going to be coming from a space of power instead of force. Now, 99.9999% of people you ever meet in your life are going to do things from a place of force. Some of them can manifest really cool stuff. They can even manifest millions and hundreds of millions. That's cool. But if you want to tap into a true power where you create stress-free, where you enjoy the ride, where it seems like you're always smiling. I don't smile all the time. They do smile almost all day long, and you're having fun. Like those carefree spirits that like live in Fiji for four months and in Bali and Costa Rica and Thailand and are just full-time blogging. And they're like, listen, I blog. I have fun with it, and I freaking live in the tropics. I created this amazing lifestyle through blogging. They're the ones who are in the moment. They're doing it stress-free. They're not worrying. They're so laid back, and it's when you're present. So just throughout the day, guys, this is the first fundamental. I can go on for an hour on this alone because there's so many different neat little techniques you could use. The basic one is just I would say every hour take a break or even more than that. If you feel the tension and anxiety coming up and you know when your mind's racing, you feel like you need to get stuff done. Take a deep breath and just relax your body. And what's going to happen is you're going to move into slow motion. So as you're doing stuff, your energy will be into it. You're happy having fun you're peaceful but whatever it is in your blogging day you're going to tap into the most immense power that you've ever tapped into and you're going to make the most impactful comments because you're going to be really detached from all this stuff you're going to be doing it from a place of fun you're going to hear your intuition speak loudly and clearly and more than anything you're going to follow the advice of successful folks and use the proper practical tips and create the value and make the connections to all that practical stuff and let it in let in the ideas get those eureka moments like oh wow eureka i never thought of that i never thought of creating an audio course the idea escaped me i didn't think of creating ebooks until 2014 i was intimidated then i was intimidated then i got the idea i'm like what the frick do i know and now, you know, multiple time best selling author. I've been tweet endorsed by New York Times best selling author Chris Brogan, Yara Stark, I mean, all these people endorsing my ebooks, Andy Lyons. And it's like, I was so afraid of that opening that income stream and developing my authority, whatever you call that, whatever that means, I guess, and gaining trust of folks and, you know, putting the stuff out there to help folks retire their life, I'll have smart blogging because I wasn't in the moment. My mind was racing down the road and fearing criticism and saying, who are you? You can't write an ebook. But when I kept bringing myself back to the moment, I let in the ideas to write the ebook. Then I let in the ideas to build the ebook. It's just more about being in the flow. And you know, using this technique, I wrote an ebook every single day for three months, bite-sized ebook, 6,000 words or longer, 6,000, 7,000 words, most of them, really helpful, entertaining reads every day. Every day, imagine publishing a 7,000 word or 6,000 word blog post every single day for three months and then toss in the formatting for ebooks. It's, it's when you're in the moment, the magic happens. So that's number one. Number two, fundamental successful blogging. This is the stuff you do to blog from Fiji and Bali and to do it quickly and it, really because it will come together when you're really present. Be in the moment to be excited to build that profitable and full-time income earning blog. Whether you're doing it from home too, it doesn't have to be in paradise. Paradise is something different for everybody. I understand that. So that's number one. Number two, follow your fun, follow your freedom. And in the audio course, I really delve into the freeing nature of your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? And it's the first thing I ask clients, you know, when I chatting with them, blog consulting business, wink, wink, find that on my blog as well. 
that's the first thing I bring up in a lot of my posts. Gotta follow your fun. Because when you're having fun and just enjoying the ride, number one, you're present because you're breathing deeply throughout the day. You're being in the moment, and that's where all your blogging power is. That's where your mojo, your energy is. And number two, we're blogging from the inside out now. You know, so many people know the doings. They know that stuff. They have access to it. They ignore it, or they use it for a week, and they're like, screw this, you know? I had lunch with Zach Johnson last week. Awesome guy, bloggingtips.com. Icon, and we were just like brainstorming stuff and chatting things about things. And he was talking about how people get online, and you know, his friend, uh, actually Zach Johnson. Yeah, Zach Johnson, right? I said Zach Johnson, not John Chow, because I think I had the John Chow. But having lunch with Zach Johnson of bloggingtips.com, and he was mentioning how his buddy John Chow, who you know, he sits down uh, with him once in a while, different seminars or whatever, and during uh, lunch, you know, they're chatting, and just you know, he knows from their relationships, I know from or their relationship, I know from studying them, you know, Zach just brings up that so many people expect to be online for a week or even a month and to pull in that John Chow money or to live that type of lifestyle or to live the lifestyle that I'm living. And it can happen. It can. It can happen relatively quickly. But almost every single human being on the face of the earth, blogging wise and life wise, spends very little time in the moment and they spend very little time following their fun. So they automatically jump into this game trying to get something, trying to follow money or fame or trying to pay a bill. And what happens is when you're not following your fun and that second is following your fun, following your freedom, your why. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be freeing, why you're doing things. When your why is anything other than having fun and feeling free, you're going to move into binding waters. You're going to be bound. You're going to be handcuffed by the outcomes. And by that I mean you're going to do everything to get something outside and you'll look outside of yourself to see, okay, this is why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it to get. I'm just doing it to get, not to give. I'm just doing it to, to become more famous. When you are bound to some outcome, when that's your why, and most bloggers online, it's why they ignore all the practical tips, all the doings, all the good stuff, because they're so bound to these outcomes and your energy doesn't let it in, you're going to fail and struggle and you know, you're going to be like those 80% of bloggers who never make more than $100 and you probably won't make a penny. Or maybe you'll make a couple, you know, enough to buy a Happy Meal. Do they even exist anymore? But guys, the second fundamental, follow your freaking fun. What I tell folks is, my loving folk out there, blogging from Paradise Minions, my fans, my readers, I love you all and I thank you so much. Anybody who asks me, what's your number one tip? Follow your fun. What can you gab about all day? What can you talk about all day nonstop? Blog about it. Because anything, doing anything other than what's pure joy to you, blogging-wise, like picking a niche, like for me, the niches are blogging and travel. I freaking love them. You see the energy. I have so much fun talking about it. That's what opens the miraculous doors, and that's how you get on Forbes, and Richard Branson has one of his authors like, hey, we, we really think you know what you're talking about. I mean, this is one of the most popular blogs on the planet. He has a billionaire, and he's like, you know digital nomadism. You know, you know, it's like, come on, are you kidding me? That's where that happens. But if you follow anything other than your fun or your freedom, you can manipulate systems, you can manipulate people, you can manipulate circumstances to some extent, but you always – feel like a little struggle inside, even if you're doing well, because it'll never be good enough. That's if you've really become good at manipulating. And even then, it still sucks, because you're not going to reach that highest level of happiness and bliss and doing what I do. And I get emails from people that you know, I'm not going to mention, but it's some really well-known bloggers who look at me and they're like, how the frick do you do what you do? So they're wondering. So it shows that they're doing really well in their own way, but they're looking at me like, who the frick is this guy living at BG for four months? I follow my fun, and a lot of folks, they mean well, and they're doing well, but they just deviate to traffic and stats and all other stuff, and it's binding. Like, an outcome makes you, it's bitch. That's probably the most in-your-face, clear way to say it. So, man, we're 20 minutes in. I could be here for six hours, but I'm not going to be. <sighs> follow your fun, guys, and really, it's easy. You blog about which you can gab about all day long. If you can talk about it all day long, blog about it, you're in. That's it. That's what you build your blog around. And if you've built a blog around some other niche that you don't have fun exploring, I already told you, I trashed 3,400 blog posts in my old blog, my old Make Money Online blog from back in the day. That was 
had some success with and I struggled with. And more than anything, I just wasn't having fun with it. So that five years of energy, I let go, low energy. It was like a, wearing an uncomfortable coat, or carrying a two suitcases. Like when we ran through the jungle with these friggin' monstrous suitcases and I was carrying other stuff. It was such a heavy leaden weight. But then when I let it go, and I was more in the moment, number one, breathing deeply and relaxed. And I was following my fun. The freaking magic happened. And I estimate 100, probably 170 at least blogs I've been featured on. I mean, you have these high level famous ones and a lot of other awesome blogs, maybe not as well read, but really, really good. Within, uh, you know, and now it's about a year and a half since I started Blogging Paradise. And I think I reached out to like two or three people. Talk about having an attractive magnet. Two or three people that in my mind that hop, pop to mind right now. You can talk about how attractive it is to be around someone who's fun-loving and who's following their passion. What's going to happen is when you're following your fun, it's going to exude through your work and the quality is going to just go through the roof and you're going to write in your voice, you're going to blog in your voice, and you're going to become magnetic to people, like bees to honey, like flies to poop. So follow your fun. Now number three, the third fundamental of successful blogging, create value, big league value. Since you're going to be following your fun, creating value is not going to be a mechanical process. It's not going to be, I have to do this. It's going to be, man, I'd love to create this video. And you're going to be present. You're going to be in the moment. You're going to be relaxed, calm. you got those first two fundamentals down. And you're going to keep revisiting because it'll be uncomfortable at times. That's okay. But when you're thinking about your why, you know, I love doing this. It's so freeing to me. I know that, you know, another reason, maybe you want to travel the world. One of your freeing drivers. It'd be so much fun to travel the world. It feels so freeing. You think about you know doing that as you're blogging and you enjoy talking about these topics and dissecting them, inspiring other people to do the same. Then this creating big league value part just happens effortlessly. It happens so easily. No hard work, no straining, no striving. I write a thousand words, two thousand, five thousand words a day. Not because you need to, not even because you desire to so badly, but because it's fun. So when I talk about creating big league value, I'm just talking about you're having fun, so write blog posts. That's one form of value. Create podcasts is another form of value. Create videos is another form of value. Uh, create ebooks. I have 124 ebooks I have written personally, no ghostwriters. Casper, is that you? And self published on Amazon, or published, as I say in the titles, is really self published, but you know, whatever. Following my fun and creating that major league value. It's fun, so I'm going to do it. It's like no, nobody's holding me back. So that's another example. You could convert to audiobooks. You know, work with a producer on Audible, which is awesome. You guys split the revenue. They put it on iTunes. They put it on good old Amazon and Audible. Convert to paperback. Audio courses. <laughs> What's coming up? And all that good stuff. Social, social shares on Facebook, Twitter, G+, LinkedIn. It's just sharing what you know about the topic you love. And these are the fundamentals, guys. This is Most people, they build their blog on a foundation of sand. It's like building a huge mansion. Oh, so I have such great, lofty ambitions. Oh, ambition. Move away from that word. That sucks. We're talking fun and freedom. Ambition. Oh, that could be a problem. Totally different energy. But they have this huge mansion. Imagine like... One of these, these $40 million states. We see them sometimes here in New Jersey, New Jersey for a bit. You know, out in Somerset County, 30, 40 million. I mean, just absolutely jaw dropping. <clears throat> and you build it on a foundation out of concrete on top of a granite ground, a granite, say a granite foundation, the ground itself and concrete. But say you just build it on sand. That's what happens when you try to create value, just you know, creating that value. It's helpful, helpful, helpful. And it's a grind, a value grind, where it's like, oh, I have to work. And, but when you love talking about something, you have fun doing it, you could talk about it, you could blog about it, you could write about it, you could share it. It's in your being, and that energy makes it all happen. This is where you do the Fiji bit. And there's so few folks who do it, and they look at Kelly and I like she says. My favorite line of hers, one of my favorites. She has many gems. Over at livelikemadetoorder.com. People look at us like we're a different species. We're not. Anybody can do this. Anybody. But you got to get these fundamentals down.
You got to do the energy work. When you get the energy work done, then the magic happens. So creating value is so much is so easy. I mean, there's so many ways to create it, and you're going to hear this from a lot of different bloggers, and they're right. But don't freaking do it. We're doing this from the inside out. Don't do it like a mindless automaton. Like he says to do this. Don't listen to me unless you get your being down pat. Be more in the moment. Be more present. And that's what I really enjoy about this video and the audio course is that like these three fundamentals that I'm diving into, we're doing it from the inside out. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be enjoyable. It's going to be playful. And you're going to manifest that money so much more quickly. You're going to manifest powerful friendships and all types of work opportunities. You're going to help and inspire and have help so many folks have fun and free themselves through blogging. And that's what my brand is all about, Blogging Paradise, helping you retire to a life of island hopping through smart blogging. And this is how we do it. It's not a grind. It's not a, you know, you're not straining and striving. It's not, this shouldn't feel like work. You're doing it wrong if it feels like work. You're going to have moments of struggle, moments here and there of fearing. But when you follow your fun and you're present and you're following that freeing driver, that energy is going to help pull you instead of you pushing yourself. A little uncomfortable at times. It's going to be exciting and so much fun. There's going to be so much joy. And again, you're like, you know, if this guy lives this type of life, this guy travels all over the world nonstop through blogging. And he's in all these places and has all these magical experiences living in some of the most stunning, literally right on some of the most stunning beaches in the world. Sabu Sabu Fiji. Uh, in Koh Lanta, the, the beaches we visited were just absolutely mind-blowing. And they were private most of the days. I mean, nobody was there. This was during high season. These were remote areas. It's so beautiful and the peace and enjoying the cultures. I mean, so many awesome people. You do it from the inside out this way. And all the action becomes so much easier. And you cut your learning curve by eons. We're talking probably a decade because I've seen some people online, been online for like eight years now, we're making the same mistakes that they made eight years ago. And I struggled like hell for years. I had such a problem with everything online because I was trying to do the outside in bit. So guys, those are the first three fundamentals. I have 11 fundamentals of successful blogging in an audio course. Drum roll, please. You know this was coming. Please. And it, again, just listen to it, guys. 11 Fundamentals of Successful Blogging. I'll link into it. It's an audio course on sales. It's so much fun to just hear me riff on these building blocks that will help you create a really magical life, help you generate a full-time profit, to help you connect with power brokers. You know, how did I get you know, asked to speak at NYU? What blogger speaks at NYU? You know, how did Chris Brogan... New York Times bestselling author, world famous, I mean, tweet endorsing my stuff and building a bond with, like, how do you, this is it. And this is how you could do the same thing and, and live your blogging dreams. That's what it ultimately comes down to. Again, imagine being in these places for that long, Fiji, Bali, Thailand, Costa Rica, all these different communities, and then doing it through blogging. And as you're doing the blogging bit, you're having fun with it and you're enjoying it and you take out the strain, the struggle, the striving, all that stuff. At times, yeah, you can go to a little brick wall here or there, but then you come back and you listen to the course. And that's the cool thing too. You know, I have eight more fundamentals to dive into. It's audio, so you can just listen to it in the background, let it seep into your subconscious before you go to bed, you know, when you're driving, some of the funny stuff, maybe pull the side of the road, you know, <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. Um, and it's colorful and it's playful, and I think a lot of folks, they bring that tension to their teaching, and as you can see, I'm very far from that. <laughs> There's really not any tension. It's very loosey-goosey. So it's fun and it's entertaining, but then, you know, the shit works. These are fundamentals between the inner game and then I delve into the outer game and techniques for building connections and just so much really juicy stuff in there. So, guys, we're coming up to about a half hour. I really hope you enjoyed this video. God knows I had fun creating it. It's on my blog. I'll include the link down below in the video. And then if you're on my blog at bloggingparadise.com, it's the 11 Fundamentals of Successful Blogging Audio Course. Audio by Ryan Biddle. I created a nice little, I love it, nice little cover, new cover that I had. The old one was a little, it was nice. I liked it, but this one just feels a little clearer. It feels more fun. It's bright. The background images I took personally in beautiful, jaw-dropping Buena Vista, Costa Rica. I mean, all my ebook covers, just so you know, and the audio program covers I personally photographed. Or maybe Kelly has two from Tropical Paradises all over the world. And you'll see it on the right-hand side of my page. You'll, of course, see it on the blog itself and the blog post. The quote unquote sales page. Really, really fun, guys. It's really enjoyable. It's me talking about all this 
sweet, sweet blogging success and how you can enjoy what I'm enjoying. Now, on top of that, I included a free bonus audio course, which is almost as long as the first one, just because I really like to talk and I have so much fun with it. Let me get closer. There we go. And it is 10 frequently asked questions by bloggers. And I'm like, listen, I'm getting these questions, email, my blog, social media. Why not address them in an audio course? So this is something that's going to cut your learning curve so quickly because you're probably dwelling on these questions if you're new to blogging or if you're struggling or if you're intermediate or even if you're really successful and you're like, how can I bring it to that next level where I just craft that life of fun and freedom and enjoyment and awesomeness? You know, how could I more enjoy the ride? So I address those questions in this bonus audio course that I throw in. So guys, just click the button, listen to it. It is so much fun. It's an enjoyable audio course product that on blogging, you probably haven't heard anything like it before. And not just come, coming from a guy like me, but the energy behind it and the playfulness behind it, really good stuff. So you're going to get those free questions too answered. Well, free bonus audio course in addition to the product which you're going to listen to and enjoy. And again, play it in the background, take notes on it. It is so much fun when you step into the energy game and you do the inner thing because then the practical tips that I share, and again, I talk about marketing on Facebook and I create posts and all that stuff. It's really a soup to nuts. The emphasis on the nuts with the Z at the end because you know, kind of. Take on blogging. So that's it for today, guys. Share this post with all your buddies, any any blogger you know in the world. Like out of like the 200, 300 million people, make sure you forward it to them. If you can get in touch with all of them, if you're a demigod or guy, please forward it to all of them. But oh, seriously, guys, I'm putting it out there more just because it's so much fun and, you know, dive into it, enjoy it, feast on it. That's it for today, guys. I love you so much. Share with your buddies. Until next time, enjoy those eight other fundamentals to successful blogging, the audio course, and... Enjoy paradise.